Thursday, 30th of July 2015. Paper Highlights. First, let's look at the paper highlights from Daily Mirror. Action against BC. Cabinet approves, says two members sitting on complaints. The Cabinet decided to initiate investigations into the failure on the part of the Commissioners of the Bribery Commission to dispense with complaints lodged with it during the last four years, a minister said yesterday. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. Susil, UPFA will undo UNP damage. In the first six months of the UPFA government that was formed in the event of winning the August 17th poll, the parliament would be turned into a constitutional assembly to introduce a new constitution and electoral reforms, General Secretary of the UPFA, Susil Prema Jayanta, said. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. So be the Thera supports on condition. The civil organizations, including the Movement for Just Society, led by Venerable Madhuluwavi So be the Thera, yesterday said they had decided to support the United National Front for Just Society under conditions including the appointment of Venerable So be the Thera as the chairman of the constitution. Constitutional Assembly, which the party had pledged to set up in its manifesto. Mohalas from Daily Mirror. Woman's body found in bag. The body of a female was found in a travelling bag at the Bastion Mouth private bus terminal, Peta, yesterday morning, the police said. Police spokesman ASP Ruan Gunasekara said a group of commuters at the terminal had informed the Peta police after they found the abandoned bag near the bus queue of Anuradhapura bus stand in which the body was found. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. Samara Singh backs down, says people may hoot. Former SLFP parliamentarian Mahinda Samara Singh said he would not take part in the rally to be held in Kalutara on August 3rd as he had information that several individuals were planning to hoot at him. Former President Mahinda Rajapaksa is also slated to take part at the rally. The State Minister of Finance Samara Singh, addressing media personnel yesterday, said he had received two letters by post and information from the organizers that if he was to ever be on stage at the meeting he would be hooted at. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. President, divisions only on the map. President Maitri Palasi Sena yesterday said the country could not be partitioned through laws or boundaries and the demographic divisions of the country such as North, South, East and West were only on maps and hence everyone should consider Sri Lanka as one country. Another highlight from Daily Mirror. Ajit, UNFGG opposed to TNA. The United National Front for Good Governance was opposed to federalism, which the Tamil National Alliance had called for in its manifesto. UNFGG candidate Ajit P. Pereira said yesterday, Mohalas from Daily Mirror, EC, desist from hate speech. Elections Commissioner Mahinda Deshapriya said on Tuesday that the use of hate speech in canvassing votes was a serious offence under the Parliamentary Elections Act and therefore he urged the candidates to desist from such acts. Another highlight from Daily Mirror, enjoining order on SLFP extended. Colombo District Judge Harusha Setunga yesterday further extended the enjoining order issued on the SLFP Central Committee till August 7, preventing it from holding the Executive Committee meetings without the approval of party chairman. Now let's move to the paper highlights from Ceylon today. President condoles Dr. Kalam's death. President Maitri Palasi Desenas signing the condolence book on late reputed scientist and former president of India Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam at the Indian High Commission in Colombo yesterday. Dr. Kalam passed away two days ago in Shillong, India. A condolence message from the president will also be delivered to Indian President Pranab Mukherjee by Dr. D.M. Swaminathan, who left for India yesterday. Another highlight from Ceylon today. Bribery commissioners to be probed. The cabinet decided yesterday to conduct a complete investigation into the manner in which commissioners of the commission to investigate allegations of bribery or corruption have acted during the past four years. Mohalas from Ceylon today. SC rejects Samurde FR case, no case against Sajid. The Supreme Court yesterday considered a fundamental rights application and refused to grant leave to proceed with its respondents, Samurde Minister Sajid Premadasa, Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, and the members of the cabinet. Another highlight from Ceylon today. Custom snaps 488 tall tortoises at BIA. Seven packages containing 488 live tortoises have been seized by the staff of Biodiversity, Cultural and National Heritage Protection Unit of Sri Lanka Customs at the Air Cargo Terminal, Katunayaka on 28th July. Another highlight from Ceylon today. 9 August is Bond Scam Day, UPFA. The United People's Freedom Alliance will be holding a series of public meetings on 9th August to inform the public about the scale of the alleged treasury bond scam and have 
have unilaterally declared the day 9th August as the bond scam day. Now let's move to the paper highlights from Daily News. MR likely to be questioned over Rada allegations. Former president will be questioned after election. Rada has spent Rs 2,431 million when it was operational. Former president and the UPFA Kurnagala district candidate Mahinda Rajapaksa is likely to be questioned in connection with alleged financial misappropriations involving reconstruction and development agency, highly placed police sources told the Daily News yesterday. The agency, headed by former parliamentarian Tiran Ellis, came under the purview of former President Mahinda Rajapaksa. It was mainly set up to grant relief to tsunami victims who lost houses and properties due to the natural disaster on December 26, 2004. Another highlight from Daily News, UPFA Manifesto, an empty draft. The election manifesto of the UPFA is an empty draft which lacks any new ideas, said Foreign Affairs Deputy Minister Ajit P. Pereira. Addressing the media at Sirikota yesterday, Deputy Minister Pereira said the UPFA is entitled to inform the public about how they intend implementing the promises given to the people. More highlights from Daily News. President seeks foreign help to control kidney disease. International support is needed to save the Sri Lankan farming community affected by kidney disease, President Michael Pala Sirisena said. The president requested the support of all friendly countries of Sri Lanka to control the kidney disease from which about 1,000 people die annually. Another highlight from Daily News. Schools closed today for August vacation. All government schools and government-approved private schools will close today for the second-term vacation in line with the academic calendar of the Education Ministry. Another highlight from Daily News. UPFA committed to a progressive Sri Lanka. Susil. The United People's Freedom Alliance is committed to a social Socialist program of work for a progressive Sri Lanka. Addressing the weekly press briefing at the party headquarters, UPFA General Secretary Susil Prema Jainta said that the UPFA election manifesto, a guarantee for the future, is the most practical way to build a social democratic system while defeating capitalism, which is nurtured by the United National Party. Another highlight from Daily News: Elect only the suitable JVP. People should give governing power to only suitable persons at the August 17th election. The sovereignty is with the people and therefore people should only elect suitable persons to represent them in parliament, JVP leader Anra Kumar Sanayaka said. Another highlight from Daily News. Mahinda Samarasingha may not participate in UPFA Kalkara rally. State Minister of Finance Mahinda Samarasingha said he may not take part in the UPFA election rally slated to be held in Kalkara on August 3rd under the patronage of former President Mahinda Rajapaksa. We brought you the paper highlights from today's newspapers and we will bring you more tomorrow. Oh.